Hi everyone, welcome to today's videos where I'm going to show you features of uh, data grip. So first, if you don't have data grips, this is where you can go and install data grip. Get Prince data grip. If you just Google that, the first link here, data grip, you can click. And uh, here is where you download it. It's available for all platform. If you use Windows, Mac, or Linux, you just click here, download. And then it should go to the page where you can download which version you want, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, and you can install it alone, or you can install it as a part of a toolbox app. Toolbox apps give you ability to install all the rest of data uh, JetBrains products, like the ones you see here. But if you just want data grip, just download one of, one of those. All right, cool. I already, I already have mine installed, so I can just come here and uh, click data grip to open it. And then it should open where I was left off before. But for you, it might open a bit different. So I'm going to go here and change my settings. Go to settings. And then on settings, if you go under uh, here, appearance and behavior, and then system settings, for you, I think it will open in a new window. So I want every time to open in a new window. I'm going to put, I don't want them to reopen my projects. I just open projects in new window. Um, all right, and then I'm just gonna say apply. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna close this and open it again. So if I open it, awesome. So for you, it will open something similar to this, and then I can customize a bit to make my ID maybe a bit slightly, all right, bigger so that you can see. And uh, here is where you can click to uh, learn more about the database. And uh, JetBrains might ask you a bit to, to, to log in, maybe. All right, cool. So once we're here, we can create a new project, or we can go to this project that already, I already have it here. Uh, now, because the, the database I'm going to show you is here, I'm just going to click here. But you can, you can open one of the folders. So for example, if you want to create a new project, I can say new project. Let's say this is a website. Vanilla 3, okay, it will open a new project in a new window. You see, I have nothing here. I have no database sources, I have nothing. Um, now, I don't want to work from this. I'm just going to close this, exit, and I'm going to open it again because I want to work from the one that has project, this one. And then you can remove, if you want to, to remove a, uh, a specific word from, from what, for example, this one. Uh oh, I didn't meant to open. Let me close again. Exit. If you want to remove a specific project from your, from your file explorer here, I think we can just delete that and uh, you have this. Let's see, you can remove here from recent projects or just hit delete. All right, cool. So let's open this. I'm going to open website vanilla 2 folder here. And the very first thing I'm going to show you is about the user interface. So when you open data grips for the first time, it should look something like this. I'm going to close these pop-ups. On the left here, on the left, what you see, this is my database explorer window. Um, on the very top, here is where I'll have my menu. If I click this, I will see menu that I can go to, um, to open a new word, edit. There are a bunch of those menu. There is Git. Um, we will explore a few of those. And um, on my right section here, I have File Explorer. This is one of my favorite sections. And then here in the middle is where is like our playground is where we'll be, we'll be putting our queries. All right, cool. So while we are still here, let's go and uh, how do you make a new data source? So depending on your database you use, my uh, data grips support a lot of databases. So for example, you can come here, this plus sign, data source, and select which, which one you want. It support a lot of databases here. As you can see, these have complete support. And uh, there are others that have got a partial support. Cool. So I use most of my SQL. 
um, or MariaDB. So right now I'll show you an example use MariaDB because that's the one I have local installed. So I come here, again, I come here plus sign, add a new data source, I want MariaDB. It will open a new window and I will just say here, uh, example, example for YouTube. So this is my this is the name of my data source. I just have to put a name and host. Host is localhost. Now because what did I select? Did I select I believe I selected MariaDB. MariaDB is always on port 3307. If it was my SQL would have been on 06. All right. And then user, this is just local. So my user is just root there. And I can put my password. But before, before you connect, you have to make sure that you have MySQL database installed on your computer. And I have another video that shows you how to you can install MySQL or maybe MariaDB. I have another database that shows that. I have another video that shows that. I will link it into this video. All right. Once I put this only these two, three fields, I just say test connection. Succeeded. Awesome. I normally click apply and say okay. Cool, it will show you an example for YouTube. And if I come here, I will see, you see it says zero of nine. If I click there, I will see all my, all my databases. So I can just pick the one that I want to play at play around, which is this online store. That's the only one I want. And I can come back here and it refreshes automatically. If it does not refresh, you have this refresh button here. And I can expand. I will see, okay, this is my online store. I can expand again, I can see my tables. So let's try to see some of the features here. You can click your customers table. I can see I only have two customers. There is nothing right now. Um, right now, for example, I don't want this right toolbar. I can kind of close it like that, you see. I don't want that, but if I want to expand, I can just come and uh, expand it. Or you can minimize sometimes, it depends. All right, we're going to see that later. Employees. Um, all right, this is mostly what I do on the left-hand side here. Uh, the database explorer is mostly I use them when you, I want to set a new connection. All right, and if you want to refresh, it's here you can refresh. Cool. Now, let's see what is at the center here. So let's say I open my customers table. You can do a lot of stuff here. You can... Uh, you can sort now. I only have two th two things here, but we can see I have like only two two of these. I can I can click here. Uh, last name to sort to sort the whole table. Um, I can search here. I can filter. For example, I just want to say uh, where first name. I can just say here first name, and it finishes equal to Jane. Click enter. It it filters. So it has this cool feature where you can search for for something right there. Um, what else can I do when I'm in this uh, in this view here in, in the editor view? I can add a new column. I can say okay, add a new a new data there, and then I can just put random data. Maybe let's say um, Adam Smith, and then as soon as I put that, it 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 gives me this. Uh, Two icons here I can check. I can preview what that's gonna be the DML preview before submitting. Um, I can add another one. Let me add another one. Uh, let's say this is um, says it's a John. Okay. Um, so once I'm done with those changes, I can just hit, uh, hit here submit. Then they will go. Hit submit. Now those have been submitted. And now I can come here again if I want to sort them. I can sort them. All right. Um, so that is about this Windows. I mostly use this filter. You can filter for stuff, um, or you can sort. I use those for many two things. If what if you want to delete a table? If you want to delete a, a row, you just select the row. For example, I want to delete maybe Jane here or Adam. I can just select that row and hit the minus sign to delete a row. Once I delete, it is not deleted. It's just submitted to the uh, to the DML, and I can preview those changes that it's gonna delete from here. But right now, I can come back and hit submit. It's gone. 
Awesome. Cool. And um, so how can you write new queries? You write new queries by first open, I can come here to my database, right click and say, I want a new query console. And then when the query console, first let me close everything here, close all tabs. To close all tabs, to just make sure you have, you work from a very clean, uh, clean screen, you can just right click and say, close all tabs. So I'm gonna open a new query console. And then I'm gonna say, for example, I want to select all customers. I can say select, and then it has these uh, uh, features to help you uh, complete. So if I just see tab, for example, it finishes for me. Select all from customers and I can just click. I don't need to type. As opposed to start typing the whole thing, uh, uh, be looking up for these, uh, for these auto completion features. So select all from customers, all right, I hit. I'm here, I hit execute and then below here it's where it will shows you the result of my the result of my of my query and also if you go to the output section here it gives you more information about when the search was completed and also it gives you which query was 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 run another cool feature i like about this for example let's say here below i can put even another query let's say select select all from employees I, need, I don't need to type all, I can just finish and double and click like that, select all from employees and I can run. So while my cursor is here, I can click run. And then whenever there are two different, two or more different queries, it gives you the option, which query do you want to run? So for example, here, it knows I have this query and this query, which one I want to run. I just want to run the below, the below one. So if I hit select, I can, I can go and say, only select the, the, the below one. And then you see here, it has selected online store employees. What if I want to query all of them? I can just uh, select them like this, for example, and hit. So you see I have one for customers and one for employees. And I can even change the names of these tabs that they learn. So for example, if I add a comment here, a comment, I can say customers. And here I can say this is uh okay that, those is customers and what is this this is employees what is this i thought this is supposed to be a comment Let's say uh all right here i can change sql direct i think it okay it's my idea to be all right cool uh, maybe those does not accept. Let's see what about hashtag like that, like that. And let's try to run this again. I'm gonna select all, run, and now it says here yeah, this was customers and this was employees because of these of these comments I've added there. All right, and um, I can increase the number of uh, the results I want here, I can view all results now because I only have a few, you're only gonna see that, but this is where you go and increase the number of all, all results. Cool. Now, one more thing that I really like to do, whenever I'm running queries, maybe I'm creating a new table or I'm just uh, have a complicated query, I would like to save it. Now, how do you save it? So for example, I wanted to save these two selects. Uh, and where I'm gonna save them is on this, on this file explorer here, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go here to file, save as and and make sure that you're gonna save to a specific folder that you want there so for me it's already website website vanilla 2 there but if not you can just go there go to your to your account and select data grid projects select a folder or you can make a new folder but i already have that folder selected and then i can rename this as maybe select or uh, query and then i can say okay and then that will be saved over here. So next time I know I have my queries here. Um, this is just a, what you can ignore, but I can select here as a dialect for my sequence MariaDB. Yeah, but now they're saved here. So you see, great. Um, so which are the features of data grip that I like to use? Uh, I like one feature called a quick documentation. So for example, I want to see the, the details, more details about this customer's table. I can right click to and then I can go here and say quick documentation. And then it will show me this window, a quick, which I can expand. It will show me how this database was created. 
this is an auto generated definition i can say here show table preview it will show me the first 10 the first 10 uh, rows but because i only have three rows it shows those so i can i can see that that is a very cool feature just let click say quick documentation all right apart from the query apart from this edit uh, the query window this editor here where you can uh, let's say i want to create a new database i can right click again say new query console and say maybe create a random table random table that just have uh, i would say okay Oh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I got that error because that's not the right syntax. Create table. That's what I needed. All right, create table, random table, uh, and uh, that. So let me create this. And that will be created. And it shows me uh, the time it used to complete. I can minimize that. So you can see random table has been created here. That just have an ID and name. But another way to create a table is you can just come here to all install right click say new table and select you can say select random table random table two and then you just can just say here uh, start putting your columns for example add columns what's my column name is just an id um, and i can choose if it's an auto document not now all this it helps me i can Add another column. Column two is name. I can data type is obvious is not is not int. It can be I can select here what do I want it to be? Um, I want it to be Vacha. I can start typing there. Vacha. Um, we have to put the size, but to get the gist, okay. Near now, okay. Client five, okay. I think I just have to say the size here. All right, cool. Vacha twenty. Say okay. That has been created. Cool, but this one we use this one. We use this of creating a table. You can even create a schema. A schema now here is just like in a, creating a new uh, menu database. I can come here and say new schema, and then you say what the database name. I can say here random database, and say okay. It will create here another random database on my on on the same um, on the same data source random database. All right, cool. So those are just uh, very quick features of uh, navigating um, data grip. I just show you how to how to connect uh, uh, how to connect a new data source from these databases and. Uh, can come here i selected my, mine was mariadb you can put a user password and make sure you're in the right port we already did that for let me expand this we already did that for example exa, example youtube or project data source and then yeah you test you apply i'm not gonna do that again i already showed you the query window here's where you can query how you can save your queries and how you can you can you can run your query by clicking execute and also I showed you how you can um, how can you use this to navigate to refresh uh, to to filter to do what um, to sort them and uh, yeah so all right those are just a very cute uh, quick features for people who are just getting started with uh, with data grip all right thanks and uh wait for my next video i'll make another video where i will even share more features thanks